Hello, everyone, and welcome to another edition of the Ecoligion with Purpose Project Under the Spotlight. Here, individuals are given the opportunity to explore self in pursuit of their purpose. I am Dr. Laxter Stevenson, and I'm your host. The Ecoligion with Purpose Project Under the Spotlight allows individuals to pause, take a quiet moment and listen, be introspective and engage self-reflection in pursuing their purpose to unleash possibilities with far-reaching implications for self and others. Today, the Ecoligion with Purpose Project Spotlight is on Ms. Nadia Mansana. Ms. Mansana is a mother, the founder of My Sister Keeper, a branding and marketing company that offers graphic designs. And she is a United States Army veteran with 10 years of service. Folks, let us welcome Ms. Monsana to the Ecoligion with Purpose Project under the spotlight. Thank you, Dr. Lex, for having me on your platform this evening. Thank you so much. And first, let me say thank you for your service. Thank you as well. Ms. Monsana, it is indeed my pleasure to welcome you to the Ecoligion with Purpose Project under the spotlight. I am looking forward to having an engaging, insightful, and interactive conversation with you about a topic which I believe is arguably one of the most consequential concepts informing how we function as individuals and ultimately what we perceive as our legacy. Yes, I definitely agree. When I saw um, the invitation for the project, I, I mean, it lit a light bulb for me to even sit back and reflect myself on what is my purpose. So I thank you for this initiative and for allowing me to be a part of this uh, initiative with you. Well, I'm so happy to have you on. So today, you're going to have the opportunity to explore self in pursuit of your purpose. I will be asking you a series of questions relating to your purpose. Are you ready? to conduct an exploration of self in pursuit of your purpose? Yes, definitely am. You came here already. Yes, I did. <laughs> that is so awesome. So, you know, so important as the concept of purpose that I believe that any conversation about purpose should begin with a definition. So I'm gonna ask you, to define purpose in a very broad way. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. For me, purpose um, is really living out what you are expecting of yourself. And what I mean by saying that is every day that you wake up, are you feeling fulfilled when um, you are, you know, whatever activities that you're doing or whatever you're doing within the community, whether it's work, business, family, do you feel fulfilled? And if you do, then you're definitely living on purpose. I feel like fulfillment means your purpose. Fulfillment means your purpose. And there's an element of family and community in, in your definition as well. Correct. So do you believe that it is important for an individual, including yourself, to have, a, to have an understanding of their purpose? Absolutely. Um, as you can see in um, my video that I, I, that I made in the beginning, I want to make sure that every day that I wake up or every night that I, I lay down, I don't want to go to bed or wake up saying, I should have done this today, or I could have done this today. I want to be fulfilled. Again, my, my definition for me, and I hit home with that word fulfillment, meaning you know, be, being very satisfied with how, um, how and what you're doing with yourself. So definitely not having regrets of should have and could have. Def would make sure that you are living on purpose. And that's for me, I never want to feel like today I should have done this. And then why didn't I? So I want to make sure that I am, you know, continuously living out the fact that I'm living on purpose, knowing that I'm not living with any regret, regrets on what I could have done. Should have, could have, should not, have in, not in your space. That's Correct. Not, okay, Correct. that's awesome. So let's talk about your specific purpose. For our listeners, do you mind telling us what your purpose is? 
So for uh, <clears throat> for a very long time, you know, I lived on um, helping others, and I never knew, you know, what the extent of me helping and working with someone would mean. But when I started my company, <clears throat> excuse me, my sister keeper, <clears throat> excuse me. When I started my company, My Sister Keeper, and working with all these amazing business owners and clients, I realized that I am actually impacting their lives. And when I say that, I mean they have a vision for a business, but not sure of how to bring that business online or how to even get started in the first place. And because of my skill and my talent, I'm able to work along with that individual to show them how to bring their business online professionally and market their business as well, right? So I feel um, a sense of I'm living my purpose, knowing that I feel fulfilled whenever I help um, someone else, whether it's be friend or friend, family, client, bring their vision to life bring their business to life because their business is actually helping to A, um, make a change in their family, build generational wealth, right? And just knowing that I have been a part of that makes me feel like I am living on my purpose because for so many years I've been able to um, help others but not realizing that is truly my purpose um, in my life. That's, that's my purpose. And when did that realization came to you? This, this notion, yes, this notion of being on purpose or aligned with your purpose. Of course, literally only about two years ago when I started My Sister Keeper, when I really started working with individuals. Um, again, prior to that, I would always be the person that I've noticed someone will call and say, Nadia, can you, or do you know of, or can you connect me with, or can you do? And it's always that um, side of when someone needs help, they will reach out to me. But not until about two years ago when I started My Sister Keeper, and I, I think my pinnacle moment was um, when I helped a client, you know, launch her business. And I literally just showed her her website and her logo and, and the things that I've designed. And she cried. She literally started to cry because of the vision that she had for her business came to life, meaning that now she could move forward in not just having this vision in her mind or in her head, or she wanted to, again, that could have and should have, but now she's really stepping out and um, living her dream. And I was able to be that pinnacle moment in her business uh, to get started, right? And then I realized, wow, I am literally making a difference in family lives and really changing the trajectory of their family dynamics when they're able to start building generational wealth through their, through their business. So I would say about two years ago to give you the short answer of when I realized I was really living in my purpose because after that phone call, that Zoom that we had, um, I felt so satisfied. I felt fulfilled. I felt um, encouragement. You know, there was all these different definitions and emotions that I was going through as well after I, you know, I got off that Zoom with, with my clients. So two years ago, the light bulb came on when you saw the impact. The impact. The impact. And so I guess it's fair to say that's when you had your collision with your purpose. Correct. Absolutely correct. Because, you know, of course, like I said, you know, um, during all the course of the years of my life, yes, helping others and, you know, making a difference. It was just so it was natural to me. Um, and again, big, I guess because of the way I was brought up with um, I was raised by my grandmother, a very strong, strong woman. And of course, my mom is mom and dad. Um, but she taught me the the meaning of really helping others. Um, without expecting anything in return and knowing that that is that is how I should live so I've always been that way but literally when you see yourself being that impact in someone's life knowing that what you did for them impacted them and changes their um, dynamics of life you start realizing how you know this is your purpose this is what you're supposed to be doing because of the feeling that you get when you're finished.